Welcome to Crawl Space Ninja. I'm Michael Church. Today we're going to be doing a deep dive into sump pumps. We're going to be talking about topics related to hydrostatic pressure, even the types of sump pumps like plastic pumps versus cast iron pumps. Let's get started. I'm super excited to have Mike Dyer here with me from Wayne Pumps. Hi, I'm Mike Dyer with Wayne Pumps. I'm a product manager and have been around pumps most of my career. We're going to talk about hydrostatic pressure and various topics in pump applications. And Mike, one of the topics we're going to talk about today is hydrostatic pressure. What exactly is hydrostatic pressure and how do Wayne pumps assist in alleviating hydrostatic pressure inside the home? Thanks, Michael. I'm glad to be here as well. Hydrostatic pressure is water pressure that's built up along a foundation. And as that found as a water builds up and doesn't get alleviated or removed, then that causes some pressure and, and leakage into a foundation wall. The way wing pumps works uh, to help alleviate hydrostatic pressure, it's one part of a system that's used. The system is a basin, drain tile, discharge pipe, and of course the pump. Right. Well, and I appreciate you saying that, uh, Mike. One of the things that we run into a lot with homeowners is they don't understand the role of hydrostatic pressure and how it affects their home, for example. There's a lot of misinformation out there about, hey, I can just install a pump in a crawl space or in a basement, and that will alleviate all hydrostatic pressure. But to your point, it's part of the system. It's not the system in whole. So some of the other things that we recommend is obviously putting in uh, an interior waterproofing or French drain system inside the crawl space. What is it that Wayne pumps do and how much water can those pumps move to help that interior waterproofing system get that pressure off of the foundation? Sure, Michael. We have, we have several different horsepower products. A, uh, a third horsepower product can remove with an elevation of 10 feet, can remove up to 51 gallons per minute. A lot of water. That's a lot. Of hey, Michael Church here. Real quick, I want to share two things with you that we've got going on here in Knoxville, Tennessee. Number one, I encourage you to check out the Ninja Cabin. We are making this cabin available for people that are interested in staying in the Gatlinburg and Sevierville areas around Dollywood and things like that. It's a beautiful cabin in Wares Valley, Tennessee. I'm gonna put a link to that down below. And also we're gonna start doing a live feed. So that way you can talk directly to me at the end of every month, we're gonna be featuring a live feed. So make sure you check out the link below for the live feed coming up at the end of every month. If you think about it, the half horsepower can deliver a little bit more around 64 gallons per minute. As long as your water coming in right. isn't higher than that, it should be fine in, in alleviating that, that water that's building up around your foundation. Why is that important, Mike? Why is it important to alleviate that pressure that's on the foundation? What can, what can that do to damage the home or the structure that, that it's in? Think of hydrostatic pressure as just constant pressure along a wall. The deeper it goes and the more water there is, the more pressure that you see uh, along that foundation. And what that causes is the foundation can bow it can, it can actually break and it can create seepage, which allows the water in. Right. You mentioned something just a second ago. You said the deeper it goes. Am I right in hearing you say that the taller a basement wall is, the worse the pressure is? Is that, that correct? That, that is correct. Think of, it, think of it like a swimming pool. The deeper you go down in a swimming pool, the more pressure you feel from that, uh, from that pressure. That's right. So having a sump pump with an interior French drain system to alleviate that helps to keep the foundation, the, the bowing or the tipping or the shearing of the walls. I assume it also helps to keep the uh, footers from moving. Yes. Is that also correct? Yes. Now footers can move due to soil pressure, right? which is separate from hydrostatic pressure, but still a hydro relieving that hydrostatic pressure is certainly important in that aspect of it, right? Correct, yes. Give me an idea, you mentioned about 61 gallons per minute and all that stuff. Give me a visual of how much water is that? What, what are we talking about? Think of, uh, think of a five gallon bucket. Everyone's familiar with a five gallon bucket. Sure. A five gallon bucket, for the third horsepower pump, there's 10 of those that that water's removing in one minute. Oh wow. That's a lot of water. 10 five gallon buckets 10 a five gallon that's buckets. That's a third horsepower. That's a third horsepower. Wow, that's a lot of water being moved. It's a lot of water. Right. And, and a, a, a half horse would be a little bit more. That's great, that's great. Well, Mike, I appreciate you uh, talking to us about hydrostatic pressure and how Wayne sump pumps helps alleviate that. Thank you very much for My that. My pleasure, thank you.